work with entrepreneurs. I set up companies, and so it's always kind of a struggle when I come in here to speak because many of you are looking for work. The last talk that I gave to ProNet was about, are you cut out to be an entrepreneur? And I reached about eight people through the entire course of the talk, and that's fine. Those eight people went on to do something terrific in their own business. So whenever I'm asked, I think, well, what is it that I can bring to ProNet that could potentially help you find the work, do the things that you need to do to create the success that you want in your own life? So oftentimes I will come in and teach networking for this organization or some kind of uh, interesting that you know perhaps you haven't thought about. And so today is going to be that. I'm going to talk today about conversational intelligence. Now for many of us, those with the gift of gab tend to find that it might be easy. For those of you that struggle with what I would call the ability to have an intelligent, amazing, possibly life-changing conversation might be a benefit for you. And so for most of us, and I get here early so that I can observe the room, I can listen to the conversations, and I can guarantee that what I heard from most of you, the very first thing you said to somebody is, how are you? Do you care? Really? Yeah. 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 What if I said, why not feel well today? Do you care? What if I said, I just, in fact, I think I heard this. I'd rather be in bed. <laughs> Here's one thing I know. For 20 years, I have put the foundation under people's dream. So in other words, I talk to people, they come to me with a business idea, and I have to actively listen to hear what it is that they're trying to tell me. So when you're starting a business, there's a lot of fear around that, right? Mm -hmm. And so they dig deep, they tell me what their dreams are, what their passion is, and they have a lot of fear about what it's gonna take to start this company. And in order for me to get into the conversation with them, one very important key, I have to be fully present. Because in that conversation, as I am actively listening to them, this is one of the keys of being an intelligent conversationalist, is you have to be more concerned about the other person than you are about you. And in that conversation, I am listening for, do they have fear? Do they have a lot of questions? Or what am I feeling? What am I experiencing when they're telling me their dream or their passion? And I can tell you, I am a master networker and a master connector, and I spend many, many hours every single year in social networking, talking to people just like you to be able to see how can I help you. So it's interesting, as the ones that were up here introduced, the new ones that are new to ProNet, as I'm listening to what it is that they're looking for in a job, instantly, every single one of them I go, there's someone I can introduce them to. Now I hope that they take the time to come up and introduce themselves to me so that I can get to know them just a little bit better and make sure that I can make that connection. How many of you have had a conversation with a coworker, a friend, a significant other, potentially someone you just met, and that conversation changed your life? That's not enough of you. So what that tells me is that in order for a conversation to change your life, you have to be fully engaged with that individual, right? 